Hi, my name is Devin. I'm the owner of Angry Squirrel Computers and Graphics, and today I'm going to tear apart and disassemble this laptop to get to the battery. Yes, this Asus model unfortunately does not have easy access to a battery. If you can see right here, my son is actually doing the video for me as I'm talking and we'll be disassembling. Hey. There is no way to get to the battery. It is internal. Whoever came up with this design from Asus is a moron. But unfortunately, you know, it is what it is and you have to unfortunately get into it to remove the battery in case it dies, need a replacement, or if you need to do repair like actually removing a cracked screen like I had to do. So this is for an Asus model X551M, Windows 8 laptop, and today, like I said, I'm going to be disassembling it for you. There's only nine screws, and it's actually quite simple, so anyone can do it. So here it goes, okay? I'm actually going to come over here and start taking out the nine screws, first screw. The second, the third, the fourth, and as you can see, I kind of put my screws in a layout of where they actually come from because they are different size screws and you don't want to get them mixed up. And it's just kind of good practice to actually know exactly where each screw comes from so you can put it back the exact same way. Some people like to do a uh, diagram layout on paper and whatnot, but this is good enough as long as you have a pretty good memory. I use a regular magnetic screwdriver, a little screwdriver with a little magnet on it, just so that the screws won't fall off when you pull them out and then you have to go looking for it. Believe me, I've done it. It's not fun trying to look for a screw. <laughs> so now, as you can see, I've already replaced the LCD screen already, but I just figured this video would be helpful for you guys that just need to replace the battery to remove it for whatever reason. So all nine screws are now out. All you have to do is gently Pry it apart from a corner. Okay, now be careful, there are three ribbon connectors under here. One for the power button, one for the keyboard, which is an integrated keyboard for the top lid, and one for the touchpad. So do not pull extremely hard or you will rip the ribbon cable, and that would be very bad. Okay, gently pull them out. as so, and then lift from the bottom end of the cover upward, and as you can see, I've already pulled the cables out, but there is a connector here for the power, here for the keyboard, and here for the touchpad. So like I said, gently pull it upward and then release the mechanisms here. It's a lift latch mechanism there, there, and back there. And then you can simply pull the lid, which is the keyboard. And if you can, please wear a grounding strap of some sort. I've already disassembled it already, and I do have an electrostatic mat, you know, because I am a repair shop, so you don't want to discharge into your motherboard or any valuable circuit components because it might short it out, and then you have no laptop. So this right here is the battery. Okay, there's no screws holding it in. It's an Asus lithium ion battery pack, A31N 1319 for those that want the original batteries or you can simply go on eBay or Amazon and get a knockoff or, or a generic version for less than 20 bucks typically. Um, all you do is it slides right out, go on both sides, this side as you can see is where the connector is, so it's a little tight and a little difficult to get out, but you can do it just by pulling it out, just as I did. See? Again, they could have simply, there you go, 
my son is trying to get you a little view of that battery. Okay. <laughs> this camera won't do much. Uh, well, it's it's a Samsung Galaxy Note 3, so here you go. It's trying to autofocus. But anyway, there, there it goes. Go. Okay. So anyway, as you can see, they could have saved everyone some heartache and grief by what? Making it standard so you could get this out the normal way, which would take all of three seconds. But unfortunately, they did it this way, and it is what it is. So, um, if you have any questions or concerns, just uh, you know, leave a comment on the U uh, YouTube comment message, and uh, I'll get back to you. Okay. Thanks for watching, and uh, have a great day. And hopefully, mo more videos will be posted to follow. Thank you.